Hey guys, welcome back to another Kindle ministry video where we bring the blazing fire of God to you. I'm Tracy, of course, and today I'm going to be releasing a prophetic word for the month of December that God has given me. Now, of course, if you watch all of our other social medias, I release a short version. And um, to get into the short version, basically the Holy Spirit was saying um, that God is getting ready to bless his people like never before. But of course, the enemy, he wants to still kill and destroy, like it says in the Bible. He wants to steal the blessings of God's people. So God is saying there is a certain urgency that needs to be made for prayer. We need to pray so that God is going to protect us from all these things. With prayer, we are able to defeat the enemy. We have to remember that Jesus has given us dominion over the earth, over the kingdom of darkness before he left. And we are only able to fulfill that through prayer. When you pray, you have a relationship with God. You hear from God and God is going to um, tell you how to fight against the enemy. And um, prayer is just very important. So one thing that God is saying is when he blesses you, um, you really need to be in your secret place with the Lord. So he tells you how to steward the blessing so that you won't prematurely lose it because of lack of prayer. Sometimes people don't realize when you don't pray, you're basically telling God like, hey, like, I don't need you. I'm good on my own. Like, thank you, but I'm good. But we should not be doing that, but instead we should always be praying consistently every single day. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. God wants to bless his people and he is going to bless his children. Uh, another um, prophetic message that God has given me, God is saying for the month of December that things are about to get wicked. As we transition on the 23 so in this month he wants everyone to get ready to um, bear firearm because it's going to be some times where we may have to defend ourselves and that is not only in the physical realm but in the spiritual realm too the bible says to <clears throat> the bible says to um put on the full armor of god so we have to remember that we're fully equipped in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. Now, God is not telling anyone to shoot anyone, but you always have to make sure that you're protected. So I know as for ladies, um, you may need pepper spray or um, I used to carry like pepper spray with me or like a taser, you know, men, men, men may need firearm. It, it's, it's getting into that season because as you realize the world is getting crazier and crazier and crazier and we need to de defend ourselves against the enemy. You know, the enemy wants to use different people. It will use a stranger to come against you and you have to defend yourself sometimes. And of course, we are covered by the blood of Jesus, but it's certain times where we, we may have to defend ourselves. Um, I also hear the Holy Spirit saying that there may there may be times where you have to turn the other cheek. So I one thing that I notice is when God is getting ready to bless his people, the enemy will try to send people to argue with you, accuse you of things. And instead of trying to um, argue back with that person, sometimes we just got to turn the other cheek and keep moving and keep going. The Bible says, avenge is mine, said the Lord. You know, God promises us that he is going to get... Um, back at people that may have hurt us, abused us, or try to, you know, lie on our name. But in this season, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit saying that we are going to get vindicated for everything that a person may have done to try to slander our name. Yes, Holy Spirit, I thank you. In a Bible verse to go with the, there may be times we have to turn the other cheek is you have learned, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a two for a two. But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever slaps on your right hand, turn to the other, turn the other to him also. So, yes, another prophetic um, message that I was hearing the Holy Spirit say sometimes you have to look up from the problem and realize that God is so much bigger than the situation that you're in so in the month of December I know that God's people because I've been in a situation where sometimes I will look at the situation I will look at the problem 
And we have to remember sometimes we're eye level with the problem, but we have to look up at God and realize God is so much bigger than the situation. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, it says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We have to know that God wants to bless us. God is going to provide for us in, in each situation. It is not in God's will for us to suffer. It is not in God's will for us to be crying every night and not sing any reward and I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say that each tear that you have sold you are going to reap the benefits of it you are going to reap the rewards of all the hard work he sees everything he sees you working hard he sees how people are treating you he sees the sacrifices that you have made he sees the dedication that you are putting into um, each situation each each task and each assignment over your life and he is saying that you are going to reap the rewards you are going to reap each good seed that you have sold in this season so i really hope that this has encouraged you all this is the prophetic word that the lord has given me for the month of december i want to encourage everyone to please 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 to pray continue to pray and fight against the enemy fight against any demonic spirits that are trying to take your blessing it's not them you got to command the devil that everything that he has stolen from you he has to give it back in the mighty name of jesus also um i just want to thank you all for just supporting the ministry you know my husband and i we truly appreciate it um if you of course are blessed by our sermons our videos and what we do at kingdom ministry don't um feel free to you know of course so i'll make sure that i put all of the information here on where to sow um we have cash app we have venmo we have paypal of course so just if you feel led to sow sow a seed so that you'll begin to reap good benefits and good fruits so I love you and I'm going to just pray us out. Father God, I just want to thank you for allowing me to release this prophetic word. Father God, I pray that every person that is watching this video, that they will take this um, prophetic word, continue to war for it and, and use it. Um, in the real world father god and let them be protected by the blood of jesus father god i thank you for everything that you are doing in everyone's life i thank you for all the people that you have sent in this video and father god we thank you for covering us with the blood of jesus in jesus name we pray amen so bye god bless you all